Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Becca and I'm so glad that you're joining me today. Hope that you're having a beautiful day. Today we are starting a little project. So I have a few like watering devices around my house that make my life easier, but there is one hole in all of those watering devices where I need to fill the hole. <laughs> And I haven't found anything on the market, so I think I'm going to make it. And when I say I think I'm going to make it, I am going to make it. But it's going to be a little bit of an adventure getting there. So basically the plan is I have an idea for a little watering table and darn it, my iPad is dead. <laughs> I will insert some footage of the rendering that I made of this watering table, but basically it's a fusion of the plant -a potty and the plant folio. And I want to create a table that has an open top where I can set large plants on top of it and then just put a storage container right underneath it to catch all of the water because I have several plants in my collection that are just really big and I need a way to water them without bringing them outside or bringing them into perhaps the shower or something like that because it just doesn't work. Having big plants is an entire thing in itself. It is a lot of extra thought or muscle, etc. So it is fun to have big plants, but at the same time, it's a lot of work. So <laughs> figuring out how to take care of them. So with that being said, I sort of drew up this rendering as I showed you. And now I just need to think about like the dimensions of it. So I'm probably gonna draw it out again, um, just with dimensions and what I'm sort of thinking. And also I need to think about materials. So I really like that the plant -a potty has like removable, pieces i feel like that would probably be the easiest way to do this because i have looked online for a similar metal grate that the plant folio has but i haven't really been able to find anything sufficient so and like things like hardware cloth wouldn't be strong enough so i need to see if i can find some like galvanized bars kind of like the plant -a potty has and then use my router to cut out some holes to set them inside of so that's gonna be a little bit of an adventure and I'm going to go to the hardware store to sort of shop around and figure out what exactly I can do. I know for sure that I'm gonna be using wood to create this and I think that I'm going to just do pine and then seal it with clear polyurethane. And yeah, that's pretty much as far as I've gotten. But I was thinking that I would do like, as far as the size of the wood, I want it to be relatively thin. Like I don't want it to be like a full four inch piece of wood. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna get two by two pieces of wood. I don't really know. I'm still kind of figuring that part out. I don't know. I guess it just depends on like how big the gaps, like how big the channels need to be for the cross pieces. So I don't know, I just need to do some figuring, um, but I'm thinking, let me get my measuring tape. <sighs> okay, maybe like three feet. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking two, two to two and a half feet actually. Like this is, I think two feet would be fine, but maybe two and a half just to be sure. Now, as far as the bars, I was thinking if I could find like thin PVC or galvanized poles, like galvanized things. But I don't know exactly how I would cut those, so I'd have to find them like pre-cut. Okay, so I just saw that my local Menards sells aluminum solid round rods. That's what it looks like. And so since this is something that would be very difficult to cut because I don't have like a grinder or anything, um, I think what I would do is I would just go off of the sizes that they have available. So I'm gonna go to the store and see what sizes they have available and then also at the same time get the wood so that I am able to kind of size everything out in the store because it looks like they, the shortest they have is 36 inches, which is three feet. So uh, I think I'm gonna have to make it actually three feet. If I could find like a metal grid that would be even better, but I don't even know how to search that up. Okay. 
Okay, Mike wasn't on. Hi, we are back for another day, the actual day of building this structure, <laughs> this little watering table that I'm envisioning. Um, yeah, it's raining today or it rained this morning, so it's like mega humid outside. Um, so I'm probably gonna try to just like get stuff done that I've been putting off. Yeah, you can see it is like super humid. I have to show you guys the most beautiful sunflower ever. Check her out. You can't see it. You simply cannot see it. It is way too humid and I keep wiping my lens, which is something that I should not be doing. Okay, let's grab our wood. Okay, we're outside and it's time to get started. I have all my supplies here. I've got my two by four. I have another one just in case. And then I have the metal shelf piece so I, I bought this metal shelf it's a six foot shelf i'm going to cut it in half to be like two three foot sections and i got this from the shelving section at home depot and basically what i'm going to do is put these two next to each other and then have a support beam right down the middle which i'm just going to use a two by two that i already had i'm not sure how exactly this is going to go but I'm just gonna start and see what happens. But in order to find out how wide I need to make this, I need to measure this because I'm pretty sure it's, okay, 16, 16. So it'll be 32, wait, 16 plus 16 is 32? I don't know. I'm gonna cut two three foot sections just to start off with to be safe. And then from there we can get started assembling i have some screws i have my drill and i have um a different tool that i'm gonna cut this with so should be pretty simple i'm thinking we'll just have to see remembered that I kind of wanted to do picture frame corners on these and we did buy a miter saw and we haven't used it yet so I think I kind of want to try it we're just gonna do it why not let's just play with our new tools but I have my two three foot sections and then a two foot section here really hot and humid right now the sun has come out and I just have to say this is extremely unpleasant <laughs> so I need to get this cutting done like ASAP so that I can go inside the saw this miter saw has been awesome I really really enjoy using it it's so fast need to cut is the shelf pieces. The miter saw needs to go into the garage but I have this mini cutter basically and I have a metal blade on it. I don't know if I need to use this like whole array of tools for this specific project but it's kind of fun like getting to play with our new tools and have a reason to use them. We bought this for something else but it'll definitely work for this. scariest power tool experiences I think I've ever had because I am not dressed correctly to be doing that. There were sparks, okay? That was scary. <laughs> but we did it. We did it, we did it, we did it. And um, hopefully I will be successful in this endeavor. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. Okay, now it's time to assemble the box situation or like the frame situation, it's not a box. And these 45 degree angles are beautiful. I am so excited. Try to make 
All right, so I have decided to sand my little watering table. And after I sand it, I'm going to seal it with polyurethane. And I'm choosing to do that before I install the legs and everything else, just because I feel like that would make the most sense. Even though I really just wanna like have everything installed and be done, um, it wouldn't, like order of operations wise, doesn't really check out. So I am just going to like quickly sand this down and then, um, yeah, do a little seal on it. Okay, so that was coat number one on side one, and I will see you guys when I'm done with coat number two, and we're just done sealing it in general. Hi, so I'm back, and this is done curing and all of that. My camera is still defogging a bit, so if it looks a little hazy over here, that's what's going on. But yeah, I have my legs here. I cut four legs to be 17 inches, and these are two by twos in cedar wood that I just had left over. So I want to acknowledge that there is some mixing of wood colors here. And if that's, you know, if that's bothersome to you, then just use, like, just go buy matching wood. But I'm just using wood that I had around the house. So this project was essentially free. Well, the wood was essentially free. So really the only thing I had to pay for in this project was the hinges. I have folding hinges and then the metal frame here, which I think that would total to be around 40 or $50. I found these folding hinges. I first found them on walmart.com and I just wanted this to be able to collapse so that I could slide it behind, I think my arch wicker shelf, just because I want it to be like, accessible but i also don't need this to be out all the time because i did my best to make it like look nice but it's not going to be like super pretty so i don't want it out all the time so anyway let me show you up close what these do so this is what they look like when they're in their like upright position so this is what it would look like when the leg is like out and then to fold it you just pull down this tab here and then the entire thing just collapses down and it clicks into place and then when you want to open it back up you just pull this and then you open it back up and it snaps open. I think I decided that I'm just going to staple the top shelf thing on with my little staple gun. I mean, the sides of the shelf kind of hang over the edges of the wood, so I think that'll help it stay pretty secure as well. But I don't know, I'm not really concerned with that shifting around too much, so I'm just gonna put a few staples in place and that should keep it where it needs to be. Okay, let's test out this first leg here. Oh, check it out. And then you just pull it up. That's super easy, okay.
we have done it and I feel so good and excited about this. I can't tell you like how helpful this is going to be for me because now I can actually water these plants inside in like all seasons and I have to say like bringing them outside is the bane of my existence. They are extremely heavy and one of them is like way taller than me and my door. So it's just always a whole thing when I have to bring it outside and just lifting it from its spot and onto this contraption that I've made is honestly saving my life and I'm so happy. So my only concern is that this big pot right here is not going to fit on it. Like I'm a little concerned about that part of things, but honestly, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. And also the storage container. I realized that I don't have a taller storage container to slide underneath it. Like I thought I did, I but I don't. So I need to go get one. But for now, I just use like a little short one and it's a little bit skinnier than I would want. So I'm going to like take the measurements of between the legs and see if I can find one that like fits pretty snug in there um, just to make sure that I am not gonna have any water spillage but also what i can do is i can just set up a towel underneath this and pull it out and start watering like it's really not that big of a deal if there's a little bit of water on the floor because my rug is so thin and water soaks up so quickly out of it so um my rug is from ruggable by the way if anybody <laughs> I need to vacuum it really bad because it has lots of dirt on it from me walking in and out while I've been doing this project. But yeah, it's been amazing to to have this and it's I didn't even realize like how dirty this room got until I switched my rug and it was a, it was um an eye opener because I think I would vacuum this room like maybe every 4 or 5 days. But um, ever since I installed this new carpet and it's so much lighter than my other one, I'm realizing just like how much dirt gets on it. <laughs> and it's a little bit shocking that I lived so much of my life not having like vacuuming this thing all the time. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say for this video. We were successful in building our watering table. And if you are inspired to make something similar, definitely let me know, send me a picture. But there are lots of products out there that are already for sale. Um, but they are admittedly a bit smaller than this one, but I really like the concept. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a call. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching this video. And um, if you like it, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.